so yeah, um, I'm going to start um, with, oh, I'm going to read like six things, I think, though a couple of them have like a couple of parts in them, but basically six things, just so you have like a timeline, and you're like, oh my god, when is she going to finish? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then start with one that was kind of about like being a kid, and about sort of my relationship with my parents, I guess, and like some regrets that I have around that. Um, it's set in 1995, so I was, anybody want to do the math? Um, I was 13, um, and this is a poem called Lullaby. Um, right, yeah. uh, Lullaby. This room is full of terrors. My father lies in the next room. What is it that I'm doing in here, dressing like a girl? These are my mother's clothes on racks here. This is her low and soft lighting. What is it that I'm doing in here, dressing like a girl? It is in my legs and fingers. It is in my stomach pit that I can't stop coming in here, dressing like a girl. But my father's out there dying. He is yellow, flat, and thin, and his breaths are each unlikely, croaking like a frog. I know where every drawer is, where the tights and where the socks, where the knickers, where the dresses, hanging on the racks. This is not about her secrets, but I know them all the same. I know where her wedding dress is she'll never wear again. Sometimes I get creative with these bits of her old life and imagine I'm these women I'll never get to be, like businesswoman, housewife, hostess at a ball. All of these old outfits she never wears at all. Most times I touch my penis and come wearing these clothes and hate myself so badly kneeling on the floor. This room is full of dreaming. It's full of hating everything. It's full of sex and full of grossness and full of not knowing. What my mother thinks, I don't know. What she'll do when he is gone. What she needs from me, I don't know. So I always get it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing in here. I don't know what it all means. My father's out there dying, and I'm dressing like a girl. I don't have a lot of time here. All my aunts will soon return. To keep watching for the dying, he will soon perform. I don't have time to be creative, and I don't know what I want. I'm just looking in the mirror, staring like a fool. I put on a pair of knickers, I pull out a random bra. It's not sexy, it's not hopeful, but I know it's what I am. I go into the doorway, I look towards the bed. I give a little wave of greeting to my dad. I whisper something stupid. Hi. I say, I'm here. I stand for 30 seconds, not even full of fear. Just something. I don't know. I can't say what it is. I don't know what I'm doing, standing in the door. I mean, he's unconscious. In a day or two, he'll die. He'll never know I stood here, waved him goodbye. Um, 